Thank you, Kim. It is 649 and we do want to check in with Dr. Frank McGeorge as well this morning in good health. See what I did there? If you spent yeah. some time outside lately, you know that the bugs are certainly biting. They certainly are. And but, they swell up, you but know. That is true. It does cause swelling. Five for five, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The question is, are you getting the most out of your insect repellent on this Wellness Wednesday? Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is outside with four ways to help your spray keep the bugs away. Insect repellents seem fairly simple. You just spray it on and that's it, right? Well, not exactly. There are some basic rules that can help your bug spray be more effective. First, if you're wearing sunscreen and using an insect repellent, the CDC says put the sunscreen on first, then your bug spray. It's okay to reapply your sunscreen later, but experts recommend against using products that contain sunscreen and insect repellent. That's because sunscreen needs to be reapplied more often than bug spray. Now, another rule to remember, read the label and the instructions. Different products protect against different pests. Pick the one that best fits your situation and ideally wards off mosquitoes and ticks. Apply the product as directed for the maximum protection and minimum exposure to chemicals. Now, be sure to shake first and then spray in a slow sweeping motion covering exposed skin and clothing. A thin film is sufficient. Now, for your face, spray your hands first and then rub it on, avoiding your eyes and your mouth. It's important to understand that products with a higher percentage of the active ingredient do not offer stronger protection. They just last longer. So choose a product that fits the amount of time you plan to spend outdoors. If you put on bug spray, plan on showering before bed. While the chemicals are safe if used as directed, they're intended to be washed off. And that goes for your kids too. Back to you. All right. All right. Thank you, Dr. McGeorge.